What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Today we are not just looking at two phones, we are witnessing the clash of two technological titans, the Galaxy S25 Ultra and the iPhone 17 Pro Max. This is a head-to-head -head comparison of every major feature from design to AI. Let's dive right into the video. Let's talk about the first thing you see and touch, the design and display. The Galaxy S25 Ultra sticks to its uh, signature industrial aesthetic. It's a refinement of a proven formula with a titanium frame and a sharp, flat-edged feel that looks like a serious tool. Apple, in a shocking move, has actually backed away from the titanium of its predecessor and gone back to a lighter aluminium frame. It's of course a deliberate choice designed to improve heat dissipation and prevent overheating during intense use. The iPhone also features a bold new horizontal camera bar that spans the width of the phone, a huge departure from Apple's classic square camera bump. And as far as the build of the screen is concerned, we have got glass front, Corning Gorilla Glass Armor 2 and glass back Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Whereas on the iPhone 17 Pro Max, we have now got the glass front with Ceramic Shield 2 aluminium alloy frame and aluminium alloy back with a portion of glass back with ceramic shield protection. Both phones feature a stunning 6.9 inch display with a smooth 120Hz refresh rate. Samsung screen offers a higher QHD resolution at 1440 by 3120 pixels, giving it a slightly higher pixel density. But Apple has a trump card here. The iPhone 17 Pro Max boasts an insane 3000 nits of peak brightness and a new anti-glare coating on its ceramic shield glass. Whereas the S25 Ultra offers first 2600 nits of brightness which is definitely inferior compared to the iPhone 17 Pro Max's display brightness. So this makes the iPhone usable outdoors in a better way compared to Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Now let's talk about what's powering these bees. It's a classic battle of efficiency versus raw power. The Galaxy S25 Ultra runs on Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite, an octa-core chip built to dominate benchmarks with brutal force. And the iPhone 17 Pro Max on the other hand is powered by Apple's brand new A19 Pro chip with a 6-core CPU. When it comes to benchmark scores, the A19 Pro scores about 3895 in single-core test, whereas Snapdragon 8 Elite scores 3033. So there is a big leap on the Apple's A19 Pro chip. And when it comes to multi-core, it's 9746 points for the A19 Pro and the Snapdragon 8 Elite scores 9271. So definitely there will be a big leap when it comes to the performance here on the A19 Pro chip. And when we get the next Snapdragon 8 Elite 2, then it might beat the A19 Pro. But for now, Clearly, the A19 Pro is the winner here. But the real story here is heat management. Both phones have a new vapor chamber cooling system to address this. The S25 Ultra has a massive vapor chamber that is 40% larger than its predecessor, but Apple is making a big claim. They say their new vapor chamber combined with the lighter aluminum chassis allows for up to 40% better sustained performance than the previous generation. This means less throttling and more consistent high performance for long gaming sessions or video editing. Now when it comes to heating, the iPhone 16 Pro Max which I have been using for the last one year does heat up in multiple occasions and that drains some amount of battery but now with this new vapor chamber and aluminum chassis the battery performance should improve here. Next comes the camera systems. This is where the battle gets deeply personal because these two companies have completely different camera philosophies. Samsung's approach has always been about versatility, giving you a camera for every situation. The S25 Ultra keeps its quad camera layout with a massive 200 megapixel sensor and the ultra wide lens is 50 megapixels. That's a huge jump from before. It also has a dual telephoto system with a 3x and 5x periscope lens, giving you that famous 100x digital space zoom as well. Whereas Apple is finally embracing megapixels in a big way, the iPhone 17 Pro Max has a new triple camera setup with 48 megapixel system, but the real star is the telephoto lens with its new tetra prism design which delivers up to 8x optical zoom. While Samsung is a Swiss army knife giving you a tool for every shot, Apple is positioning the iPhone as a pro video rig in your pocket. With features like ProRes RAW, Dolby Vision HDR and Genlock for multi-camera setups, the choice is between two distinct creative workflows. And when it comes to selfie camera, the S25 Ultra offers 12 megapixel lens whereas now on the Apple's iPhone 17 Pro Max, we get 18 megapixel lens lens, which is definitely a big jump here. And Apple has added center stage feature for front camera. And now we have got the squared sensor, which will fit in more contents in the frame when you take selfies. And now we also have action mode to selfie camera on the iPhones. And now we have finally received the dual capture feature on iPhones, 
which has been there on the Galaxy phones for almost a decade now. Now let's talk about endurance. The specs are surprisingly close. The Galaxy S25 Ultra packs a 5000mAh battery, while the iPhone 17 Pro Max has a slightly larger 5088mAh battery, thanks in part to new silicon carbon anode technology. But the real difference here is charging. Samsung's 45W wired charging gets the Galaxy S25 Ultra from empty to full in under an hour. But Apple has introduced a new dynamic power adapter that while not boasting the same wattage, can get the iPhone to 50% charge in just 20 minutes. It's a smarter, quicker charge that prioritizes rapid top up over a full charge from zero. And when it comes to wireless charging, iPhone 17 Pro Max takes a big leap here. The Galaxy S25 Ultra offers 15 watt wireless charging which is Qi 2. The iPhone 17 Pro Max offers 25 watt wireless MagSafe Qi 2 which is fantastic. Now I've been using both the Galaxy S25 Ultra as well as the iPhone 16 Pro Max. In terms of battery performance, the 16 Pro Max has always been better. It gives me at least a couple of hours extra juice every day compared to the Galaxy S25 Ultra. And I'm pretty sure the iPhone 17 Pro Max is going to better that with the aluminum chassis, a brand new vapor chamber and a slightly bigger battery, the iPhone 17 Pro Max is going to beat the hell out of the Galaxy S25 Ultra when it comes to battery performance. Now, the AI battle. No wonder Apple did not talk much about the AI features this time around. They focused mainly on the hardware which really makes sense. Because their AI features are still quite subtle and not as advanced as Samsung's AI features. The Apple intelligence is built right into the core of iOS 26 on the iPhone 17 Pro Max. Its key features like writing tools for proofreading and summarizing text, an image playground for creating original images in different styles, which are designed to work on device for maximum privacy. It also includes live translation for messages and calls and an enhanced Siri that has on-screen awareness, meaning it can understand and act on what's on your screen. The Galaxy S25 Ultra comes with Galaxy AI, which is powered by a deep partnership with Google's Gemini models. It's designed to be a more complete AI user experience with features that work across applications. You've got circle to search, where you can literally draw a circle on anything on your screen to find information. There is writing assist, which helps you with spelling grammar and changing the tone of your messages. You've got cross app actions to perform tasks across uh, multiple applications with just one voice command. You can also use audio eraser to remove unwanted sounds from videos. We've got call assist to get real time translation during voice calls, interpreter for spoken conversations, note assist for auto format, summarizing and spell check and translating text within the notes application. We can transcribe voice and call recordings into text and summarize them for easy review. We've got browsing assist on the Samsung internet. We've got photo assist for reimagining images by moving or removing people and objects, creating portrait in a variety of fun styles and sketching new stuffs into their backgrounds. We've got drawing assist to transform simple sketches into awesome art, create images from text descriptions and turn photos into cartoons, paintings and more. And then we've got something called Now Brief to get a personalized briefing with suggested content and actions that change throughout the day. And we also have health assist features on the Samsung Galaxy phones. So we have got a complete AI suit here on the Galaxy S25 Ultra, whereas the iPhone 17 Pro Max offers some basic AI features, which is not bad, but not as advanced as the Galaxy AI. Now let's talk about something a lot of people care about, the software experience, specifically customizing and multitasking. On this front, the philosophies couldn't be more different. Samsung's approach is all about giving the user control. The Galaxy S25 Ultra comes with a powerful suite of customization app called GoodLock. With it, you can completely change the look and feel of your phone from customizing your lock screen and creating your own themes to building your own keyboard. But beyond aesthetics, it's about functionality. Samsung has a multi-window feature that lets you run two applications in a true split screen view. You can even run applications in a floating pop-up window over everything else a feature that Apple still doesn't offer. For the ultimate power user, there is Samsung DeX, which turns your phone into a full desktop experience when you plug it into a monitor, allowing you to run multiple applications just like a PC. On the other hand, iPhone 17 Pro Max, by contrast, operates with Apple's philosophy of being reliable and locked in. It's a beautiful cohesive system, but it comes with limitations. There is no customization suit like GoodLock, and while it has a great picture-in-picture -picture mode for videos, it lacks a native split-screen function for running two separate applications on phone screen. So for those who want to deeply personalize their device and truly multitask with multiple applications on the go, Samsung software offers a level of freedom and power that the iPhone simply doesn't match. And finally, 
we cannot forget the S Pen. The S Pen is integrated into Samsung's Galaxy S25 Ultra, which has been the USB of this big device. Samsung is able to place this S Pen inside the Galaxy S25 Ultra and yet offer a 5000 mAh battery, which is just incredible. And of course, we don't have any stylus or S Pen for the uh, Apple iPhone 17 Pro Max. Now, these are some important differences between these two devices. If you ask me the winner, well, the truth is there isn't one. The better phone depends on who you are. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is the undisputed champion for the power user. It's the ultimate tool for productivity for those who need Need a versatile camera and for those who love the flexibility of the S Pen, it's professional tool built for flexibility. The Apple iPhone 17 Pro Max on the other hand is for the content creator and for those who value a cohesive seamless ecosystem. Its new ATX optical zoom and pro grade video features are a huge leap forward. Its stunning anti-glare display is a genuine game changer for daily use. The battery performance is definitely going to be much better. So basically it's a professional tool built for creation. So you tell me which phones are you picking up let me know in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives like this once we have the iphone 17 pro max in the studio i will do a head-to-head -head comparison again that will be a proper deep review thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one soon you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye